Good morning. It's about uh, 11.30. I need to sleep in this morning. I was exhausted. Um, I was just physically exhausted. So we had an amazing day. Uh, it was a long day. We went to Reykjavik. Went to the Viking thingy. Then we went to the volcano. We didn't see anything. We didn't see anything at the volcano. We, we didn't see a thing. We didn't, <laughs> we didn't get to see a thing. But we flew the drone up, drone up and uh, it was really cool. But, um, and then we lost the drone. And then it was in, then we didn't get home till 2 a.m. And it was actually the darkest it's ever been here. Um, last night. And technically last night was the longest day of the year. So technically there shouldn't have been any sun setting, but because the clouds were so deep and so thick that we, we just didn't, there wasn't anything. It was just, it was just, uh, it was just dreary the entire evening. So, but yeah, today I think we're headed to Vic. Um, we had a slower start today. I, probably my fault. It's probably like, everyone's probably pissed at me, but I needed to get some sleep. It was just, I need to relax. I think it's the one thing that I can't afford myself sometimes is just the ability to relax. So um, it's something that I'm working on. Um, and I think I'm just slowly getting there as the week goes on is finding that ability, but I still, still haven't found it yet. Um, but I think I'm close, I think I'm close. But yeah, today we're headed to, to Vic to the Black Sand Beaches, down to the to this east side of, uh, of uh, Iceland. And we're gonna check that out, but We'll see how that goes, and um, sorry if I've been looking at the monitor a lot. I, I'm not used to this, so thanks so much for watching this. Uh, I'm so tired. All right, we're here for the next day of Iceland. We are taking a ferry over. Where are we going? To an island I can't pronounce. To an island Bobby can't pronounce. So uh, we are off and uh, we drove the uh, Defender right over. I mean, right onto the boat. So um, now we are just uh, getting some drinks. One thing that's different is that uh, you have to wear a mask on the boat, but you don't need to if uh, eating your drink, of course. So. Um, I'm not sure if it's just like regulations for the island or it's regulations for the boat, it might be some of the government, but yeah, so now we um, are off, we're moving, and uh, after I eat a little bit, we will, um, after we eat a little bit and get moving, um, we'll take some shots outside. All right, we, uh, we made it outside. I'm getting audio. What are you talking about? I can see it moving. Bobby doubts my abilities. But uh, as we move into the wind, oh man. So yeah, we are uh, going from here over to the island. The reason why we're going to this island is for the uh, puffins, and uh, Bobby really wanted to see it. Someone actually recommended to her on Instagram, so now we're uh, gonna go try to check out the puffins. Puffins. But uh, yeah, so now we're headed over there, and um, it's probably about 10 minutes left in the uh, in the in the ride. Oh wow, that is beautiful. Now we're uh, back in the truck and uh, we're gonna go find some penguins. What else are we doing here? Puffins. Puffins. Yeah, penguins. 
They're not. They're not penguins. Puffins. Puffins aren't penguins. Sightseeing. Sightseeing. Mountains. Wait, I'm more distraught that puffins museum. aren't penguins. There's a museum. Is this? Is this the penis museum? No, that's in Reykjavik. There's a penis museum. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby was pretty like certain that you guys would love the penis museum. <laughs> she was certain. She was pretty certain, so. <laughs> Alright, well we're gonna go find some not penguins but puffins. Um, maybe there'll be good food here, maybe, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm all about the food lately. Um, we also packed food and packed some some beers and things like that, so. We'll see. It's okay. Um, and, uh... <laughs> Now we're gonna <laughs> we're just having a whole conversation. And now we're gonna park and we're gonna get this bitch forward. So we drove all the way up to uh, this lighthouse and we don't know exactly where the lighthouse is. Uh, we can't see it. There's just so much fog. There's just too much of it. So now we're walking on a trail that will apparently get us there. And uh We'll see if we can make it to the lighthouse and can catch some puffins, which are not penguins. Okay, we didn't find the lighthouse. We, we, we walked the wrong way. So now we're gonna go to the lighthouse. Bobby also did not wear her boots today. Okay, so we found some puffins. We're actually in this little lookout. Um, it's like right on the edge here. It's just right on the edge of the, the cliff. So yeah, we, uh, we found some, some sweet old puffins. We did find the puffins. Uh, Bobby got some pictures. I got a little bit of video. We also found these sweet sheep, bro. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now we're uh, pretty much done at the top of this island. Um, oh, look at those guys. Oh, look at that baby sheep. Look at these babies. Well, before I was rudely interrupted by those baby sheep, um, yeah, now we're gonna either have some food, maybe we'll go down and get a gas station hot dog. We've been hearing all about these hot dogs, but um, haven't been able to get one yet, so that's probably what we're gonna go do. That's probably our most successful, like, like go see something that is possibly not there and get to see it. So we didn't get to see the lava in person uh, or the volcano, and then we didn't get to see the uh, lighthouse. So now we're off to uh, go get a hot dog after seeing some sweet puffins and some baby sheeps. Okay. So we got the hot dogs, and now we eat them. I got everything, because I even I look at Icelandic. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm basically born. I was basically I like born here. Buns. These buns are cool. They're like grilled. Are they? Oh. So this one has uh, the brown stuff that everyone else did not want. They said no brown stuff, but I got it. Oh, there's also some other stuff in there. Mm-hmm. All sorts of things. These are like relish. Mustard. Look at that doggy. I'm not a big fan of relish, but you know, frick it. I, if I had fermented shark, I could hand him, handle a mayonnaise hot dog. That's excellent. It's 
slightly underwhelming. I feel like they got topped up really. And like, it tastes like a hot dog, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's not like... You need the whole thing. I don't, <laughs> think, I don't think so. He's got the onions, he's got the crispy onions. And I guess like a lot of people are comparing it to like American gas stations. If you went and got a hot dog at an American gas station, that would be the grossest hot dog you eat. Whereas yeah. like this is good for being from literally a gas station. Mm -hmm. So that maybe that's what I'm yeah. maybe comparing it too high up on the list, you yeah. know what I mean? I will say the brown sauce is a little less than desired. Not because of its flavor, just because there was so much of it. Oh no, 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 no. can't strip it off. Okay. You get to talk a big game and then scrape it off. It's just so it's spilling. It's spilling off the sides. Spill it right in your mouth, baby. Just went up in there. Is that your hot dog or are you just happy to see me? Goodbye. <laughs> oh. I don't even start by. <laughs> yeah, Bobby acts like that's the worst joke ever. Yeah. Like the grossest joke. Okay, final consensus of the dog. Pretty good dog. It's all right. It's, it's all right. Good. It's it really a, pops. Well, yeah, it's a spring. Yeah, it's got some spring to it. Yeah. Um, but is this the best dog I've ever had? No. I think the hot dogs in Maine are better. Um, but... Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just comparing a hot dog to that. But is it a good grocery store hot dog with Thomas saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's good for like go through drive through. Is this the way to eat for fast food? That is gas station food? Yeah. Much better than like 7 Eleven. I think even better it's than Sheets. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. Is this way better than any gas station in America? Sheets, mm -hmm. Wawa. In, like if I don't think Wawa makes hot dogs, I like, so. But like Sheets does, and they're gross. Do you not? Do you prefer this to a Sheets hot dog? Because yeah. you like the Sheets hot dogs. I do that's like what, Sheets hot dogs. That's what you just said, though. But this hot dog quality is way better. Okay. If I could I pick my, if these. I could pick my, yeah, I think the bun is a factor. Do you have to pay for those? No. Nice. Wow. Free onions. And Emily got more. Got, I I'm. I really swear worded up the order. I really freaked it up. Um, they they wanted normal hot dogs, and I wanted to be stupid and adventurous. And Emily wanted onions, so I really messed up the whole thing. I might look Icelandic, but I, I don't know a lick about anything here. We uh, had our Icelandic hot dog. We only have a few more minutes left here on the island. We only uh, pretty much scheduled like the ferry tour for like two hours, so. Now we're uh, flying the drone, Tom's getting some st stuff at the harbor, and then uh, we're going to basically um, get some stuff. It's a really small island with a lot of pull-offs, so we're going to try to do some cool stuff with the drone and uh, in the truck of us driving, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, this overlook, we just had a, a little bit of some snackies and some uh, beer, but... Uh, But yeah, this overlooks amazing. Like all of Iceland is just beautiful. There's this little town, basically you can drive through it. Like just, if, if there's one road through it, you drive through it in probably two minutes. Like it is, it is so small. So um, yeah, it was a good little adventure. And then we're going to a small little pool, like semi, like, I don't, it's not a hot spring, but it's just like a open, open water. Um, that's really cool. So we're gonna do that tonight, basically when we get back over to the main island of Iceland. We made it to the little what hot, is this called? hot pool. Hot pool. Hot pool. <laughs> and uh, it's gorgeous. It's, it's look so up. beautiful. Oh, Sam's over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bobby. That was disgusting. I can't. I'm slipping. 
Yeah, so we made it. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Um, having a great time. It's so slippery, so there's actually just straight up algae on the bottom of this pool. Um, it's just all natural. It's just brought in from, uh, I guess, from private property. Um, I think it's heated by the hot springs, but the pool is man-made. There we go. Pool is man-made, heated by the hot springs. As you can tell, there's a lot of people here. So it used to be a very secret place, from my understanding, and now uh, that's not the case. So, um, yeah. So it's really awesome. It's freezing outside, so I'm trying to keep my body as much underwater as possible. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool place to take pictures and uh, more will come from that. Okay, it cleared out. It is beautiful. And uh, we're having an amazing time. Like this is just, just a natural pool in the freaking side of a mountain. Like that's just where we are. So it's been an absolute blast today. Today was like, we had no idea what we were doing today. And then it just kind of happened. And it was super cool. Bobby's idea with the uh, with the puffin puffin adventure. Puffin Island. Puffin Island. So, yeah, super stoked. Um, today, this is the last thing we're doing today. We're gonna go home, probably uh, have a little bit of dinner, go to bed, and um, tomorrow we're gonna head into towards Vic and see a bunch of waterfalls, things like that. But yeah, I'm slipping on this algae. I cannot explain the inability you have to walk it is probably the grossest thing i've ever stepped my feet on is just is it's just probably what like an inch of algae no, that you just step on uh, an inch algae. an inch <laughs>